Hello. Welcome to Dual University. Today, we will cover everything you need to know to become a proper gentleman. First of all, allow me to apologize. I had an amazing mining video lined up for today, but then something came up and I had to release this one instead. And now, a word from our sponsor. This lecture is brought to you by the subscribe button. Are you feeling down? Did you forget to slow down on re-entry? Is your anti-grav drive really slow? Hit the subscribe button. According to clinical trials, 99% of the 1% of 20% of a bunch of people I made up for this segment had their life significantly improved by clicking the subscribe button. So go ahead, do it, click it, click it now, subscribe and like and find true happiness and love. And okay, you get the point. Click the button over there. Let's do the video now. So let's find out what it really takes to become a proper gentleman. First of all, be very aware of your grooming. You also want to be a gentleman. It's a great idea and more bonus points for you if you go around and open her door. Okay, I think I know what this is about. Let's learn how to open doors. The proper way for any gentleman is to just approach the person standing next to it and wait for the door to open. For the rest of you plebeians, you can go to the door and press the open button. But that's not very good, is it? This is, after all, 2021, isn't it? Shout out to anyone watching this in 2022. Hope our alien overlords are treating you well and there's plenty of Thorlangord in your Gorbolax. So, let's automate the process by adding a button to this door. Now, equip the link element tool and drag the link from the button to the door. Notice that this is a blue link, which is also called a control link. Control links will send an activate signal when activated and deactivate signal when deactivated. Please note that blue control links are not suitable for Lua since they can only switch the device on or off. Ok, that's great, but what if we want to open multiple doors with one button? Well, that's where we use a relay. The relay will send the same message to multiple recipients. So let's connect the button to the relay, then the relay to each one of the doors. We want more doors. So let's connect the first relay to the second relay and then the second relay to the remaining doors. Watch them go. But of course, that is not good enough. This is 2024 after all and the fourth acid rain cataclysm has destroyed all the remaining space marine outposts and now the Zordlings are in control. So let's modernize and remove the button and add the sensor in its place. Connect the sensor to the first relay and then move back and forth for a while. Genius! But there is a small problem. As you can see, the doors close as soon as we exit the sensor field. There are several ways to fix this issue, but we are going to do it the Lua way. So let's whip out that programming board and put it on the floor. Amazing! Now let's go to the library, start, and 
and type the following System.print Hello World Perfect! You can see in your Lua window that every time you turn it on or off, it executes the command you wrote and prints Hello World. Congratulations! You are now a full stack programmer. Okay, so let's create the green link from the board to the sensor. After that, open the Lua window and rename the slot 1 field to sensor. Next, we will add a manual switch. Create a Lua link to that and rename it to switch. Now it's time to start the Lua party. Go to library, start and type in switch.toggle. Turn the programming board on and off and see it toggles the switch like we told it to. Now draw a link from the switch to the first relay and we are good to go. Now let's clean it up a little bit and start fresh. It's time to add the delay function. So, let's type in function and the name of the function and initialize the first variable we will need, which is the delay, and then set it to 3 seconds and export the variable. Exporting the variable will make it show up in the Lua parameters window. Okay, I hope you had fun up to now, cause it's about to get real. First of all, we add the screen. Link the screen, name the screen and type in screen.setCenterText Hello World. Then add the stop filter and type in screen that set centered text goodbye. Switch the board on and off a couple of times and let's move on to sensors.
click on the sensor and add an enter and leave filter with star as the parameter. Star will mean that all players will trigger this event. When someone enters, we want to open the door, so let's call the open door function here and the close the door function on the leave filter. Go back to the library and create those two functions. Let's add some indicator that the door is going to open or close to the screen. Ok, that's great. Now, time to open and close the doors. Switch.activate and switch.deactivate. Great! Let's add the time delay, which is what we're doing all this for. In order to do this, we will need to add the timer unit dot set timer door delay and set it to 3 seconds now go to the unit and add the tick filter called door delay all we need to do now is move the switch dot deactivate command from the library to the tick timer and then deactivate the timer once it runs once and then deactivate the timer Still with us? Keep going, we're almost there. Remember that delay variable we created at the start of the video? Well, it's time to put it to good use. Replace the 3 second delay with the actual variable. Now go to Lua parameters and change the value and test. And now? Time for the grand finale. Create a variable called uname. Then add two dots to the string you're printing on the screen to test that it works. And now, for the final step, we just need to go to the enter filter on the sensor and add the following. uName equals system.getPlayerName parenthesis ID. What does this do, you ask? Well, 
When a player enters a sensor, the sensor will create a variable named ID, which is the number that corresponds to that user. A getPlayerName command will return the name of that person with that ID. So now we can open the door only for people we like. Just create a variable with the name of the authorized user, then add an if statement that checks if it's a match. And with that, we are done, and the door will now be open for the authorized user. Thank you so much for watching, this video took a very long time to make, so please leave a like if you found it useful and feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments. See you in game!